So good morning everyone. Our research title is Garlic Almium Sativum Peel, Squash Cucurbita Maxima Seeds and Calamansi Citrus X Microcarpa Rind to the Growth and Yield of Tomato, Solanum Lycopersico. My name is Marielle. I am Shaina. And I am Ronnie T. Pachika. For the introduction, our country and our environment are both in need of attention. Chemicals have an impact on our daily lives that we can see and feel. The use of this is one of the most impressive adaptive systems in emerging demand. That's long-term use has resulted in a slew of unexpected side effects. The productivity cost ratio, for example, does not balance or measure linearly, resulting in a huge waste of natural resources. Every year, millions of tons of synthetic nutrients are pumped into the soil. Plants do not absorb it. Runoff from agricultural areas has been claimed to be responsible for the release of around half of the nitrogen and 90% of porous into the atmosphere or water sources, resulting in the emission of greenhouse gases, siltation of aquatic system, and soil sanitization. The overuse of chemical fertilizers causes problems with food safety and quality, such as nitrate accumulation in vegetables products. The goal of our study is to create a natural resources from fertilizer that is organic. Our study was created because fertilizers have become more expensive in recent years and many individuals, particularly farmers, are finding it difficult to buy them. Our research is focusing on developing new approaches and items to make an organic fertilizer that will benefit plant development and productivity. Another goal of our study is to reduce food waste generation, which is one of the most pressing issues in the world today. We use leftover foods as a source of alternative product of organic fertilizer, which is both environmentally beneficial and non-harmful to the surrounding environment. Our studies pursue in order to determine whether or not there is a substance difference between synthetic fertilizer and organic fertilizer because we see that organic fertilizer is beneficial. Our study comes up with this experimental study. After all, it comes from the leftovers of some food waste such as garlic, squash, and calamansi, which are high in NPK. As a result, the researcher is keen to find a solution to this difficulty. Those food waste will be collected in a clean container from the market and food leftover in the house. This study will focus on assessing the growth and yield of the tomato plant. The calm long variety of tomatoes will be used to test the effectiveness of each kind of fertilizer. There will be 81 seeds to be planted for ensuring the success of results. All units will be treated with the same amount of water, sunlight, and fertilizer except the control group. The tomato will be grown to full maturity. Our study is designed to measure the tomato plant growth and yield using organic fertilizer as an effective tool for planting. This study is expected to benefit the following individuals and organization. The crop growers, the agriculturists, the community, and the future researchers. Objectives of the study. This study aims to develop an affordable, environmentally friendly organic fertilizer that will help the farmers in growing their crops and helping reduce Choose food waste products to evaluate the growth and yield of tomato, solanum like persicum plant made up of garlic, algum, sedibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi citrus ex microcarparine that is rich in nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Specifically, this study aims to determine the following First, the effect of organic fertilizer made up of garlic, algum, sedibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi citrus ex microcarparine on the growth and yield of tomato, solanum like a persicum plant in terms of height of plant, number of leaves, number of fields, and width of the stem. Second, the effect of organic fertilizer made up of garlic, algum, sativum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi citrus x microcarparine on the growth and yield of tomato, solanum like a persicum plant in different setups. Last one, 
the significant differences between the synthetic fertilizer and the organic fertilizer made up of garlic, allium, sa tagumpil, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi, citrus X, microcarpa rind, on the ground and yield of tomato, solanum, lyco, persicum plant. For the hypothesis of the study, there is no significant difference in the growth and yield of tomato, solanum, lyco, persicum plant using organic fertilizer made up of garlic, allium, citibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi, citrus X, microcarparine, in terms of height of plant, number of leaves, number of yields, and width of the stem. Second, there is no significant differences on the growth and yield of tomato, solanum, lyco, persicum plant using organic fertilizer made up of garlic, allium, citibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi, citrus X, microcarparine, in different setups. Last one, there are no significant differences between the synthetic fertilizer and organic fertilizer made up of garlic, allium, citibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi, citrus X, microcarparine. And the synthetic fertilizers on the growth and yield of tomato, solanum, like a persicum plant. Theoretical Framework This experimental research is anchored on sustainable development goals theory in the number 12 goal, ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. The humus theory of plant nutrition which conveys feed on chemicals that are similar to them in nature and theory of waste management, a unified body of information about waste and waste management. Conceptual framework. The input is the garlic, allium, satibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and calamansi, citrus X, microcarparine. The processes are compost grinding, drying, and granulation of the input. Then the output is the organic fertilizer from garlic, allium, satibum peel, squash, cucurbita, maxima seeds, and the calamansi, citrus X, microcarparine to the tomato, solanum, lycopersicum. Research methodology. This chapter discusses the research design, research locale, data gathering procedure, and statistical treatment of the data used by the researchers in conducting this study. Quantitative research is a scientific inquiry that involves experiments and other systematic approaches that emphasize a control and qualified um, performance measurement according to Proctor and Capaldi. And the uh, research design used by the researcher in conducting this study is experimental research because experimental research is undertaken when a researcher wishes to trace um, cause and effect relationships between defined variables. So the research locale is um, the Pandadi will be uh, conducted at Sitio Banaba, Barangay Manati, Calapan City, Oriental Mindoro. For the data gathering procedure, um, the data gathering process will start during the first week uh, of August during the summer classes of academic year of 2021-2022. And uh, the researchers will be using tomato seedlings as the primary subject for the organic fertilizer. The researchers will observe the plants weekly and record the seed observations in a record, a record book to include the efficacy of the fertilizer and its impact on the plant's growth. Valid data will be interpreted through the use of statistical treatment tools. So for the statistical treatment of the data, the researchers will be using a quadratic model because quadratic model is the most straightforward equation as long as the primary goal of the research was to maximize production. And quadratic model, uh, model have served the scientific community well in explaining crop reactions to fertilizer. And quadratic model, on the other hand, usually predicts um, greater fertilizer need if the maximum point from the model is taken as the predicted recommendation. So for the experimental procedure, that is the checklist that we are going to use in, in observing the uh, tomato, uh, tomato plants and, or the test plants uh, using the organic fertilizer and the synthetic fertilizer. So for the flow chart, in uh, using the materials such as um, organic uh, materials such as squash seeds, garlic peels, and um, calamansi rinds, in using the organic fertilizers. So after uh, creating the organic fertilizer, the, uh, the researchers will be uh, implementing or doing a setup 
the plan set up of nine uh, test plants. So we have the positive control. Uh, the positive control is having no fertilizer. And the negative control will uh, be applied with synthetic fertilizer. While the um, set A, B, uh, test plant A, I mean test plant A, B, C, A, B, uh, B, C, A, C, and A, B, C will be applied by, um, it will be applied with organic fertilizers. And the tally data will be um, recorded in a uh, checklist and uh, gather data will be interpreted through a statistical treatment tool. Thank you, everyone. My name is Ronnie Dipachita. I'm Shaina Panatuan. And I'm Marielle Cortez. And our research study titled is Garlic Anium Satibumpil, Squash Cucurbita Maxima Seeds, and Calamansi Citrus Microcarpa Rind to the Growth and Yield of Tomato Solanum Lycopersicum. That's all. Thank you. Uh -huh.